Or maybe we'll pick something a little bit easier. So I'm just going to go to import. I'm going to go down to where I'll, I have all my pictures and I'll just look for something. Here's one that's pretty simple. This is a picture that would just make a good book cover as is. You wouldn't really have to do very much. You just add text up here, maybe a really nice glowing font feature we can play with later. Um, this one I could just keep. I might want to do something like add a grunge border like we talked about before. If I want to do something a little bit more interesting, I could throw in some texture that I'd probably put up here on top. But I don't really have to do that. And I actually kind of want to keep it dark to get the text in there. I might put some down here though. That makes it kind of interesting. And I might make this a little bigger so she's centered. Now if this is a horror, which is going to be, there's a few more things we probably want to do. Later, we're going to put some text. The colors here are actually pretty good. You have this um, dark brown and the black. That's not bad, but, and I like having the flesh tones of the girl against the dark gray. But if you want to put a red title or something, um, one, we'd want to probably make this moon bigger. And the way we could do that is just duplicate this layer. It's running a bit slow. So I duplicated the layer and now I can just make this bigger. So that's a little bit better. And then I can go to my eraser tool and just get rid of this down here. It's acting a little bit weird right now. See how the pixels are kind of breaking up? It's not getting smooth like it should. Let's see what happens if I save this and then just open it up back again. Sometimes the tool that you're using so many resources, depending on your connection and your computer, you may just have to restart the tool.